Hey guys, it's Tajay and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about life after license. Now I finally got the title of the series that I want because it's like, yo, there's a whole life before you get your license and there's literally a life after you get your license that no one talks about. So I'm going to dig into it. So my previous video, I told you guys the steps that it took me to get my license, you know, just to give you guys just a roundabout of what to do and what to expect if you're thinking about getting your license or if you're in the process of getting your real estate license. Honey, this is what I want to talk about after getting your license. So what I want to talk about today are the fees and the money that you're going to have to spend because honey, when they say real estate is an investment, real estate is legit an investment. Okay, like you're going into a job, spending more in the first probably three to six months that you're going to be making. Um, so let's just go ahead and talk about that. The first thing that I ran into was obviously finding a brokerage. Now, I made an announcement that I was a part of a brokerage in my last video. And I'm going to be making a video on what to look for in a brokerage because I have since left that brokerage and I'm doing another. Now, I want to stay at this brokerage before a little while. Um, for a little while before I talk about it, you know, just to get the feel of it. Um, but so far I'm loving it because now I know what I needed to look for in a brokerage. Um, so that's another change and something else that you guys really should expect and, you know, look forward to is really looking for the brokerage for you. Okay. Now I'm not saying the last brokerage I was at, I didn't enjoy. It just wasn't for me. It's a for a lot of people, but it just wasn't for me specifically as a new agent. And I'll put it that way. In regards to finding a brokerage, um, there are fees that you have to pay for joining the brokerage. Not every brokerage has an initial fee, but a lot of brokerages, they do have fees initially that you have to pay. So with my previous brokerage, there was an initial fee that I had to pay. Okay, cool. And of course, there are monthly fees that you have to pay with your brokerage. I'm not saying all brokerages are like this, but my new brokerage, there is a monthly fee, but they don't have an initial fee, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, the biggest fee, uh, well, the second biggest fee of them all was finding your association. Um, going through classes, I really didn't understand what the association was. Um, but what I've gathered so far is really the coverage area of where you'll be able to find your homes and like locations and area codes and stuff like that. If I'm mistaken, someone please correct me again. I, this is still a learning process for me. And I'm just sharing all of the information and trials and tribulations that I've faced thus far. Um, okay, so joining the association, those fees are crazy. Insane, okay? Um, so let's say I had to pay a little over $500 um, to join my association. Um, and then since I joined kind of like at the beginning of the last quarter of the year, I have to pay again in December. So I paid $500 a couple months ago and I think I have to pay another $500 for this year or the end of the end of the year. I don't know. I either have to pay like $100 or another $400 or both. I don't know, but I'm going to have to figure it out because, who child, I was not expecting it. So in my previous video, when I was saying, you know, make sure you got your money up in your bag, because whenever you get into real estate, you go to get a bag, but you don't have to spend a bag to make a bag, you know, and I'll just look forward to paying another, you know, four to $500 or however long you want to pay for your association. Um, I was just want to throw that out there. Now, um, this is gonna tie into what to look for in regards to your brokerage. So initially, unfortunately, I was under the impression that I was gonna be, you know, given leave joining my team. Um, I wasn't, but you know, that's okay. Um, there's other ways that you're able to generate leads, hence YouTube, Instagram, going out into the field. It's a lot of ways for you to generate leads. Um, as a new agent, it's really hard because you're literally starting up a business. You're becoming an entrepreneur once you become a real estate agent. And I think a lot of us don't really realize that, hey, this is a business that I'm starting. I'm gonna have to get myself out there to find clients, to find customers, but we, we call them clients in real estate, but they're customers. We have to find people to sell to, we're salesmen. And it's not like you're a store where they're like, oh, Tajay's open, let's go see what she's selling. We're not like that. It's like, oh, we have to get our name out there because there's millions of other agents just like us. But there's a church on every corner and so is there a gas station and they're all doing good. So 
we should be fine. <laughs> yeah, I was under the impression that I was gonna be getting leads. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case. Um, they did give out leads, um, but it wasn't like, oh yeah, when you join the team, this is how many leads we're gonna give you, entering them into you know, your CRM, and you're gonna work these leads. It was nothing like that. So I had to try to generate my own leads. And also, the commission split was still 80-20. So it, it's just a little, you know, to me, it was just a little weird. Uh, of course, they give you, you know, everything up front, um, you know, from your, not material, but you know, the softwares and stuff like that. They give you all of the tools you need to be successful. But why y'all taking 80% or 20% of my commission and y'all not helping me find these people? Nah, but my new brokerage, they are 100%, um, you know, commission based. Of course, you know, it's little fees in there like your ENO or whatever, but other than that, it's 100% commission or maybe like 99 or 98 point whatever commission, uh, which I thought was pretty cool since I'm still gonna be generating my own leads and investing into my own leads. But in the process of me looking for another brokerage, I did find another brokerage that offered you leads, but the commission split was crazy. The commission split was like 60, 40, which in the end, it kind of weighs out, you know, it, it kind of balances itself out with them providing you the leads, the people to call and work and then you're just splitting the commission. Um, the only thing that I didn't like about that was the leads that I provide for myself, that commission was still gonna be split, which I thought was crazy. <laughs> yeah, so that was just something that kind of threw me off. So um, we're, we're gonna talk about more in my next episode on what to look for in a brokerage because that really kind of like tied into, um, you know, the fees and stuff and like what to look for or whatever, but yeah that's 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 definitely going to be a video so yeah just look forward to that if you have any questions about that leave it below and i'll make sure to answer those um in the next video as well um so moving forward of course your association or whatever um you know that's a fee in itself now if you end up investing in leads whew, child, leads are expensive they're expensive for me because i you know i'm working at nine to five i'm in school so i get a refund check every now and then but girls got bills so that stuff is carrying me throughout school and throughout because i'm still working on my degree so and i'm still trying to live really invest into my hair company shameless plug so i did call around to like zillow and realtor and you know zillow was offering leads but like bottom tier leads low key is 300 dollars a month and if you do the $300 a month, you have to commit for 12 months. So that's another bill. That's like another car note. Honestly, my car note is a little more than that, but still like I'm paying two cars, you know, and like one I'm really using or whatever, like, or one is like really giving back into me and you're not a hundred percent going to make a sell off of that. So, I mean, in all, it is an investment and it will show itself in a couple of months. And you know, people are going to be wanting to buy a home maybe. And so it's like, do I pay that $300 a month? Do I commit to that? And then start seeing, you know, those 2,000, 4,000, 7,000, 10,000 commissions come in to where it eventually takes over. So if you have the funds for that, I would do that. Um, but if your girl didn't have the funds for that. Not right now, maybe a little, a little bit into next year, but getting started, yeah, I can't do that at the moment. So if you can't, don't feel bad. Go at your own pace. Okay, this isn't a race. It's not even a sprint. You know, you can walk, power walk, I would say. But um, yeah, definitely don't make this about being the first to do whatever. Starting a business is gonna take time. You're gonna be really in the red zone for at least a year, two years. It really depends on your worth ethic. And I came into real estate thing and I'm gonna make it sell was it humbling but um no i really appreciate the humbling process because whenever you do start making that money and start making those sales you're going to appreciate it a lot more and you're going to be able to have a story to tell others and really make sure everyone is aware of the process um and is ready for the process and to take on those challenges because it is challenging uh they they did offer that and then they have another one where you don't have to commit you pay one fee and that's seven hundred dollars oh, i'm sorry seven hundred and fifty dollars for that one month you get the most exposure that you can as a premier agent i believe and that's with zillow um 
so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and take that route just do the 750 and do the premier agent i'm gonna also reach out to realtor and see how that goes um and see exactly what they're offering because i'm kind of torn between investing in leads with realtor or zillow so um yeah once i do make that final decision i will keep you guys posted and show you guys how my outcome was because lead generating is much different than it was a couple years ago and i don't really see a lot of new videos in regards to lead generating and you know a compare and contrast from these two companies um, with social media i know lead generating is completely different so it may be a little tougher who knows i'm just you know considering everything at this point but yeah that's basically what i wanted to talk about all the other fees that I've run into, even your marketing materials, those are not cheap, you know? So if you're getting t-shirts made, business cards, and stuff like that. So when I say make sure you have a bag, honey, make sure you have your bag to invest in yourself after you get your license. Cause I know school is already the starting investment point and it's a little expensive. Really, if you're thinking about getting your license or if you're in the process of getting your license, for you to set that foundation, give yourself a year. And it's gonna be completely fine and it's gonna be a breeze. Don't force yourself and don't overwork yourself um you know like i said it's not a race and i was off of social media for a lot of the time you know seeing people who look successful everyone isn't as successful as, as they seem so make sure you're not comparing yourself to other people because comparison is the thief of joy okay um yeah so i definitely just wanted you know to make sure you guys keep in mind what i've you know just coming to this was more of a like a rant but still very informative because your girl was you know I, I was hit i was hit with some unexpected expenses okay and then doing this all during covid wasn't easy because of you know jobs not working that much i took off a lot of time for my mental health so just know if you're you know struggling a little bit in the financial department take your time that's all i'm gonna say i don't want to go into too many details but just know if you're struggling it's okay all right so um yeah i'm excited for this journey for us yeah let's just keep each other motivated and keep each other encouraged find a friend in the comment section you know if you guys are going through the same thing um i met a friend in maryland on instagram and we talked about real estate all the time we're both like i just got my license like you know two three months ago and he got his back in june june july and it's like dang i have someone to talk to that's literally going through the same thing as me find a friend in the comment section find a friend on twitter see who's talking about being an agent and relate to them because baby it's tough but it's gonna be worth it so i just definitely wanted to leave that there this was definitely about the fees so yeah episode two life after license i am tajay make sure you like comment and subscribe Follow me everywhere, Tajay Serene. Yes, I have a hair company, but I know it's a little ghetto. If you want to place an order, DM me. I do appreciate you guys following along. I see you guys subscribing. I really appreciate that as well. Um, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Stay blessed.